Hey, what's up with your car? Uh-huh. You went to a garage and not a dealership, right? You know some of those places use counterfeit brake pads? It can be so dangerous. Listen up, and I'll tell you why. Do you know what makes cars safely come to a stop? Let me break it down for you. See that blue thing? That's the disc rotor, and it turns with the tire. What happens when we pinch that disc? Friction is generated, and the wheel stops. That's how your car stops. Here, these fingers show us what the brake pads would be doing in your car's brakes. As you can imagine, it's a really important part. Let's look at some genuine and counterfeit brake pads side by side. Can you tell which one's which? The ones on the left are genuine. The ones on the right are counterfeit. And in one country, someone actually used them. They were gonna cause a serious accident. If we look closely, we can see that although the counterfeit has the same part number, one of the pads in the box can't be installed. You know, if the pads are forced into place during installation, the brakes won't work properly. Let's check out the inside. When we zoom in, they look different. See? Let's take a closer look. See the structure? The yellow part is a binding fiber that holds the brake materials together. In the genuine brake pad, these yellow fibers and brake materials have been thoroughly mixed and are evenly spread out. This gives the pad its strength. The fibers act in a similar way to the reinforcement bars found in reinforced concrete. In the counterfeit pad, the materials haven't been properly mixed and, as you can see, everything is unevenly scattered. Not only that, these pads contain lead. That's bad for the environment. Now we'll compare the two and see how their differences affect braking performance. See this piece of equipment? It lets us test brake pads in various environmental and driving conditions. We can even simulate different car models and weights. It's also used in the development of brakes for new cars. In this test, comparing genuine and counterfeit brake pads, let's see what happens when we keep applying the same amount of pressure on the genuine and counterfeit brake pads. For the first test, we'll be suddenly braking from 50 kilometers per hour, one of the most common driving speeds. Okay, stop. The genuine brake pads brought the vehicle to a stop 0.4 seconds earlier. That's a distance of 2.5 meters. A distance of 2.5 meters when braking heavily is pretty dangerous. Okay, next. Let's imagine we're coming down a long mountain road. Hmm, there doesn't seem to be much difference. Wait a second, after braking a few times, there are sparks flying out of the counterfeit one. Oh my goodness, that's dangerous. After driving downhill a few more times with some heavy braking, the counterfeit brake pads are on fire. The rubber components are burning because of the heat. See these parts? They would never burn like that in a genuine pad. Once that rubber is damaged, water and dirt can get in and cause rust and scratches, leading to failure. Continued use in this condition can result in brake fluid leaks and is very dangerous. You see, with the genuine brake pads, heat goes towards the disc rotor where it is released. Genuine brake pads have been designed to maintain braking performance even at high temperatures. And burning isn't the only dangerous thing about using counterfeit brake pads. Okay, so we've tried coming down a mountain road. But what happens when you get up the next morning? Do the brakes still work? Let's compare them in our next test and try stopping normally from 50 kilometers per hour. I wonder how they perform after all that hard work yesterday. 
The car with the genuine brake pads performs well. The counterfeit brake pads? The car wouldn't stop for an additional one second. That's 4.2 meters. We also brought some other counterfeit brake pads in for testing under the same conditions. With those, the vehicle didn't stop until 2.4 seconds later. That's 19.6 meters further than the genuine brake pads. As you can see, some counterfeit brake pads have very poor performance. Watch out! See, that's how they cause accidents. Even braking in normal situations can be dangerous because it takes longer to stop when using counterfeit brake pads. Brake pads are so important. Lives depend on them. I mean, without properly performing brakes, you might end up having an accident. Please, always use genuine brake pads. I know what you're thinking. Where can I go to replace my brake pads knowing I'll be in good hands? There you go.